Alright, so I just got done throwing some tie rod ends on this uh, 98 Blazer. And in that video, and I can link to it at the end of this one, uh, I mentioned that I had a method for lining it up with string and a ruler. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I just took it for a quick ride, and the vehicle was real squirrely, so uh, I'm going to get a little closer. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I would not recommend driving around like this uh, for a year, say, because um, you're likely to skin out some tires. Um, all right, so let me show you what I've got here. I've got a jack stand in the front and in the rear of the vehicle, and I've got a piece of string, somewhat taut, running between the two, okay? Um, you want to leave yourself enough room. Make sure you're not hitting the wheel or the tire uh, because we're going to need some room for adjustment, okay? We're going to start in the back. Okay, so I've got the back set pretty much the way I want it, but I want to go through how this works. I'm just going to use a slide ruler like this, and I've got this painted orange. I use this to adjust my guitar action as well, and it just helps me to see where the slide is in comparison to the ruler with my failing eyes, okay? So basically what we're doing here is we're going to measure the rim edge to the string, okay? And now, what I do too before I do this is I try to have it on a level surface, I, I inflate the tires all uh, the same, I've got the jack stands to the same height, although I didn't use a line level or anything, but generally you want it about the same, okay? So what we're looking for here is just equal distance between the edge of the rim, not using the tire, we're using the rim, and the string, okay? So you want a flat plane and a flat plane being the string, okay? So that's telling us that this is parallel with that rear rim. If it's off just a hair, that's going to be exaggerated on the other end, right? Because it's a lot longer, it's running off in a direction, so by the time you get to the front wheel, it's going to be off by a lot more, okay? So it's pretty important to be accurate here, okay? And that's why this ruler helps, okay? Let's take a quick look at the front. Okay, so you can see I have the actual tire on some cardboard. That just helps when you adjust the sleeve. It uh, reduces the friction because the tire is actually going to um, move. So, you know, it just helps reduce the friction, I think, anyways. Now, I do have a wheel weight here. You want to be cautious that you're not measuring on the wheel weight. I'm on the rim itself. Um, if, there's a, if you're right at the wheel weight, you adjust the height of your string or move the vehicle and set it back up, okay? So we're just going to measure, again, the same thing. Now keep in mind um, that we're not looking for the same distance between the rim and the string. We're just looking for, again, another flat plane. Your axle widths could be different. You could have axle offset. This is a 98. Who knows? The frame could be tweaked just a hair. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different variables that could actually adjust um, the distance between the the plane of the wheel and the plane of the string. All we're trying to do is actually trying to have two flat planes and actually on this vehicle it's towed in just a hair. Um, so if you're going to be off by a little bit I would suggest on this vehicle at least being off on the inward so you'd want this distance greater on the front. But for right now we're shooting for um, parallel planes, okay? And I've got it pretty close. It is towed in just a hair, and I'm actually going to leave that and shoot for that same offset in the on the other side. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Now, when you make adjustments um, to the jack stands, we're talking just a little bit. You know, when you're when you're lining up the back wheel, and the same is true for the adjustment sleeve. It's just a little bit, especially the closer you get. If you go cranking on that thing, it's going to wind it way too far. Let's take a quick look at the adjustment sleeve. All right, I've already got this one loosened up. On this particular vehicle, it was a 13 millimeter bolt and a 12 millimeter nut. Okay, in my uh, tie rod end video, I explained that one of the tie rod ends has reverse threads, and that's so that when you crank this uh, sleeve one way or the other, that's going to allow that to adjust those closer together or further apart, which in turn takes the wheel. It moves it one way or the other. Okay, it's either going to pull it in or push it out. And that's how you adjust your toe in, okay? Mine's just about where I want it. So I'm not going to mess with it too much, okay? What I actually like to do is I like to set it up the same on both sides. Uh, but right now, two of my jack stands, and I think you can see it right there, are in use. Uh, so I'm going to have to do one side at a time. I'm going to do this side. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to come back and double check this side again, okay? So hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, I would not call this a 
permanent fix. I would call this a temporary alignment. Um, again, I'm going to be doing the ball joints in the, in the hub soon. Um, so I'm not going to go and pay for an alignment and then come back and rip the ball joints out. We're going to get that all done. Going to take it for an alignment. But this is going to let me get go down the road relatively straight. Um, right now it's real squirrely. You know when it's not right. You turn the wheel just a hair and it sends you off in one direction. So, hey, if this has been helpful, give me that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this type of stuff. Leave questions and comments below. And again, just keep in mind, this is one of those things. It's a quick temporary fix and it's something that you can do yourself at home. Thanks for watching.